Hello students, I will talk about sequence similarity searches from the course of bioinformatics. Database similarity searching. If you already have a protein or DNA sequence and you want to find other sequences that look like it, database similarity searching will do it for you. Database similarity searching involves submission of a query sequence and performing a sequence comparison of the query with all individual sequences in a database. This type of searching is one of the most effective ways to assign potential functions to newly determined sequences. An uncharacterized sequence is referred to as query. And characterized sequences within a database are referred to as subjects. Understanding the importance of similarity. Similar sequences are often derived from a common ancestral sequence. This means that if sequences are similar, they probably have the same ancestor, share the same structure, and have a similar biological function. Therefore, we can extrapolate something we know about a particular sequence to all similar sequences. Suppose our sequence looks very much like another one that somebody has studied in another lab. Because these two sequences are similar, we can say, if something is true for that sequence, it is probably true for our sequence as well. Just imagine how much time we can save studying a gene in the lab takes years, whereas searching a database for similarity search takes few seconds. When two proteins or gene sequences are very similar, they are called homologous, which is a term for two proteins or gene sequences that have the same ancestor, similar functions, and similar structures. Uh, criteria for database searching. There are Unique requirements for implementing algorithms for sequence database search. The first criterion is sensitivity, which refers to the ability to find as many correct hits as possible. It is measured by the extent of inclusion of correctly identified sequence members of the same family. These correct hits are considered true positives in the searching exercise. The second criterion is selectivity, also called specificity, which refers to the ability to exclude incorrect hits. These incorrect hits are unrelated sequences mistakenly identified in database searching and are considered false positives. The third criterion is speed, which is the time it takes to get results from database searches. The major issues in database searching will be discussed in last slide. When two proteins or gene sequences are very similar, they are called homologous, which is a term for two proteins or gene sequences that have the same ancestor, similar functions, and similar structures.
Don't confuse homology and similarity. Similarity may exist between any sequences. Sequences are homologous only if they have evolved from a common ancestor. Homology is a binary relationship where a similarity is a quantifiable property. In other words, two sequences are either homologous or non-homologous, while they will always have a measurable level of identity. Any set of sequences can exhibit similarity, and this may be quantified. Sequences are homologous only if they have evolved by divergence from a common ancestor. For example, to say that two sequences share 60% uh, homology does not make any sense. Rather, to say that they share 60% similarity, and this indicates possible homology is the correct usage of the term similarity and homology. Now to conclude, uh, database similarity searching is an essential first step in the functional characterization of novel genes or protein sequences. The major issues in database searching are sensitivity, selectivity, and speed. Ideally, we want to have um, the greatest sensitivity, selectivity, and speed in database searching. However, uh, satisfying all three requirements is difficult in reality because an increase in sensitivity is associated with decrease in uh, specificity or selectivity. Uh, likewise, a very inclusive search tends to include many false positives. Similarly, an improvement in speed often comes at the cost of reduced sensitivity and selectivity. Uh, so, uh, in nutshell, uh, a compromise among the three uh, parameters, uh, that is uh, selectivity, sensitivity, and speed has to be made. References. Keep calm and stay curious. Allah Hafiz.